Hello and welcome! This time we're going to talk about a new way or another way of describing what controls we want to have. Okay? Last time we drew this picture here. Yeah? We drew this picture with the flap drive, with the belt drive and so on. Yeah? This time we want to have it in a more structured way, the description. Yeah? Because last time we had this textual description and the layout plan and now we want to to do it a little bit more structured. One possibility of this, yeah, I hope you can keep this in mind, this, this drawing here. Yeah. One possibility is the so-called travel travel step diagram. For each and every drive, there are two of them, right? For each and every drive, there is a grid. Yeah? So there is one, one line, there's a second line, yeah? and there are always drawn steps. In this case, four steps are sufficient. So it's step one, step two, step three, step four. Yeah. Above here, this shall be the flap. Okay. This one, the flap. Okay. It's either open or closed. Yeah. And the other one is the belt. Okay. So this is the belt. It's either started or stopped. In the beginning, in the beginning, the flap is closed. Yeah. So we are here. And the belt is stopped. We're here. First step, start the belt. So in first step, we change from stop to started in the belt. The flap stays closed. Second step, flap open. So flap changing in second step, step from closed to open, belt keeps running. Then we're in operation. Then third step, Stopping, uh, bell, a flap shall change from open to close, belt keeps running. Uh, fourth step, stop the belt, flap shall, be still, shall stay closed, belt stop. Uh, fourth step, belt is stopped. So here we can clearly see what are the action, what are the necessary actions of our drives? Yeah? So there's the drive, there's the flap drive, there's the belt drive, and these are the states of the drive. This is how we shall control it. Okay? It's very clear. Yeah? A lot of control systems do work these step approaches. Yeah? So there's one step, then there is a condition to change to the second step, pack, there's a condition to change to the third step, pack, 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 and so on. Yeah? This is very usual. This is very usual. Good thing here is that each and every change is presented to me. Yeah? What is not that good maybe is I don't really know how long this takes yeah? during commissioning. Yeah? When you turn on the thing the first time, it might be difficult to distinguish, yeah, is this still normal? Yeah? So there's also the travel time diagram, which is exactly travel time diagram, which actually is pretty much the same. However, this time on this axis, on the X axis, it's not the steps, it is the time, really. Yeah? So there are two time diagrams. 
one time diagram, second time diagram. So there is T, the time, okay? There is also then a maximum and the two drives. For each drive, I have my own diagram. There is again the belt drive. Okay. There's again the flap drive. And the flap is of course again open or closed. And the belt is of course again started or stopped. Okay. And now I do the, my first step. In first step, belt is starting. However, the belt starting might take a while, simply. Okay. At this point in time, when the belt is started, okay, then the flap is opening. Okay, and this maybe takes a little bit longer. Now I can see Okay, the flap opening takes even longer than starting the belt. Okay. Here the belt is doing nothing, it's just running. Yeah. Then stopping flap. Maybe takes even longer to close it. Up to here, also the belt has not changed its status and then we stop the belt and this might go really fast. Now we also have the timing of those things. That's an additional information. However, if we have a, a control system where there are a lot of different timing involved, then this might get not that obvious like here. Yeah. Usual is the step diagram, yeah. pretty usual. Travel time diagram, it's not that usual. However, you could also show delays, maybe here in a better fashion than here. Okay. Here we need additional information if we have a step of delay. Yeah. Then we would need the information how long it takes. This is here covered. Okay. So these are two possibilities of describing what our actuator should, should do. Uh, next time we're going to talk about the control diagram. Uh, control diagram, these are the actuators. However, we have to switch them on and off. And the control diagram shows exactly the switching. Yeah? And then we combine those two with the function diagram. This will then be in the next videos. Okay? For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.